Hi, I'm Chris Kepler, and welcome to Does This Happen to You? I'm an actor, voice actor, audiobook narrator, and writer. I love telling and sharing stories about the strange experiences my friends and I have while doing mundane things like grocery shopping. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily anomalies, a micro-audio book about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from L.K. Smith, who you'll find on Medium.com. And here is, That Putin Guy is Making Me Fatter. All I do is watch CNN and eat Oreos since Ukraine was invaded. Everyone has a vice. Everyone has an addiction. And anyone who says they don't is either in denial or just hasn't tried hard enough to identify what it is. I'm an eater. Food is my drug. You know how when you walk into an office building and you see a group of smokers huddled together outside the front door enjoying a smoke? With each drag of a cigarette that they take, they look like they are getting ready to climax. Then when they exhale the smoke, they look like they just finished having the best orgasm of their collective lives. If I weren't allowed to eat a Twinkie inside the building, I would be standing out there in the pouring rain with the smokers. I would be eating my Twinkie, swirling my tongue around the cream-filled middle, and rustling the plastic wrapper while I close my eye, toss my head back, and wait for the euphoria to hit me. Ah, was it good for you? I have never needed to drink alcohol or use illegal substances because I have always used food as my drug. I don't know if that makes me fortunate or not, but something happens in my brain when I eat pretty much anything except fruits, vegetables, and other food that the FDA has deemed nutritious. I start to feel good inside. I relax. My stress melts away. And so long as I'm eating, life is worry-free. So, as you can imagine, I eat more than I should, and I am fat. A thin male friend of mine once told me that he didn't understand why anyone is fat because the purpose of food is to fuel the body and nothing more. So, according to him, fat people simply need to realize that they should only eat when their bodies need fuel. Stupid man, he just doesn't get it. Since Putin decided to invade Ukraine, I have been eating far more than is necessary to fuel my body. I have been using food non-stop to calm my nerves and soothe the hurt I feel for the good people in the world. It all started with a bag of dinner rolls, the ones in the orange bag. They don't need butter or anything on them. They don't need to be heated. You can eat them right out of the bag. They are to die for, seriously. They start out tasting just like a regular roll, but then they get squishy and doughy, and then they start to melt in your mouth. Finally, they get sweet. That's the best part. The sweetness at the tail end makes you want to eat another, and another, and another. So, of course, I do. I bought two bags. Not the regular size, not the family size. I bought two of the party packs. Yep, I had a roll party. I ate them all in less than two days. All I do is watch CNN. I sit in my comfy chair, put on CNN, and eat rolls to soothe myself. It helps a little, but not enough. So I had to branch out with my food selection. I started ordering pizza. The pizza place near me was running a special, large round with double pepperoni. Order it online, pay with a debit card, and the pizza guy is at my place with my drugs, I mean pizza, in 20 minutes or less. So, shout out to Chris, the pizza guy. Hey! At first, I started by eating two pieces of pizza, then three. Now, I can easily eat the whole pizza but I have to leave at least three pieces for later so that I don't feel so out of control. One of my other favorite things is Three Musketeers Fun Size Bars. I love those. And Slim Fast Advanced Energy Drinks in Mocha Cappuccino. That kick of caffeine and the yummy taste is awesome. 
neuromints for energy and focus without the jitters. The Hawaiian rolls in the orange bag, soft and squishy and sweet. Green Lantern pizza delivered fast while still hot and just minutes out of the oven. And Oreos. I get the thin ones because not only do I like them better than the regular ones, but because the word thin makes me feel less guilty about all that I'm eating. That's brilliant marketing on their part. I was eating the thin Oreos with the mint-flavored filling for a while, but I'm a traditionalist at heart, so now I'm eating the thin Oreos with the original stuff in the middle. And I think I sort of like those the best anyway. And CNN is on the whole time I'm eating, of course. The invasion, conflict, war gets worse every day. I get more upset every day. I eat more every day. Today, I weighed myself. Shockingly, I haven't gained any weight. At least that's what the scale says. But the scale is a big, fat liar. I know how the scale works. It keeps secrets. It doesn't tell you about all the weight you are gaining, and then it springs the news on you when you aren't expecting it, when you have forgotten about how much you've been eating. I know that I will get on the scale next week, and it will say that I gained six pounds or something like that, because the scale operates by ambush. Besides, it's not possible to eat all that I have eaten while being sedentary and not gain weight. It just isn't. Too many calories in and not enough burned off equals weight gain. Do the math. It's only a matter of time until the scale hits me with the truth. So I'm going back to my chair and Oreos and CNN and worry because nothing goes better with stress and anxiety than food. I should know. I've been using food to soothe myself my entire life. But until I decide to do something about it, if I choose to do something about it, I'm going to blame my issues on Putin. After all, someone needs to hold him accountable for something. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the story, let me know and share it with your friends. Follow me at Chris KK Aria on Twitter or Chris K. Kepler on Facebook. Or check out my website, www.chriskepler.com.